Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jump. Basically, you start out with massive amounts of data. You say, how are we going to analyze this? Well, let's fire up a pivot table and see if we can solve this problem. Back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill John. Great question today sent in by Anne. Anne uh, was in one of my seminars in Stevens Point, so she's from Wisconsin. And uh, she says, hey, a vendor sent me a file that has about 250 words in a single cell. I can't see all of the words in the cell unless I select the cell. All right, so Anne is using Word Wrap, obviously. So let's go select that cell and we'll go to Format Cells and turn on Wrap Text, Vertical Top. That's great. Click OK. Now I know, because I set this up, that there's 512 words here. And you can see that we can see down to about Word 143. So I decide, all right, I'm going to make this cell wider to allow more of the words to fit. And it's weird, it's, it's ending around Word 161. And when I click in there, I can see that there are more words. But when I click away from the cell, it's only showing me Word 161. And initially, my reaction was, okay, well, you know, we're having a problem with it adjusting the row height. But you can see that uh, it went to the maximum, 409.5, and it just is not fitting. All right, this is a problem that we've had in previous versions of Excel. Now, let's see, it was going up to about Word 130. So what we have to do is click in the cell right before the words that we can't see, Word 131, and press Alt-Enter. Alt-Enter will actually allow us to see more of this cell. So this is going to be very tedious for me now to go through and keep using Alt-Enter at various spots. But in fact, that is a solution that will allow us to see more of the cell. So a second ago, we can only see the Word 131. Let's check it out now. You know, now, yes, we can see more. And if we make it taller, uh, we can continue to see more. So a uh, very painful solution back in Excel 2003 and earlier is just to keep going through and using that Alt-Enter trick to get Excel to show you more words um, beyond the limit. Now, in Excel 2007, looks like they took some great steps to, to solve this. Now, this is the amazing expanding formula bar. Let me close that up here. And when we turn on wrap text, we can eventually get to the point if we make the cell wide enough to see all of the words out to the end. Uh, if it's not wide enough, you run into that limit of the cell going to be 409 rows high, you know, and then, uh, you know, what can you do? I don't know. Now, one workaround to this, and this is so strange. In the last two weeks now, I've talked about a text box three times after hardly ever talking about text boxes at all, is to replace that cell with the text box. So insert shapes. We're just going to draw a big, huge text box in here. And inside of that text box, we can paste as much text as we want. So here from this cell, I will choose everything from the formula bar, Control-C to copy, and then go back to my text box and click inside Control-V to paste. Uh, choose a nice small font size. There we go and you can get all of that text to appear whether you are in the cell or not in the cell. Now again, this would be tedious if you had uh, more than a few cells with all of these words, but it is a great way to get everything to show up all of the time. Okay, so if you're in Excel 2003, text box is one solution or using Alt-Enter at various spots. If you're in Excel 2007, you just need to go to nice small font, really wide column and uh, maximize the height to see all of those words. There you have it. Great question from Ann. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. Well, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.